Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit shorter than usually, but I still think that it will be useful. So I'll be explaining to you guys how you can varnish an acrylic painting. And this technique is exactly the same for when it comes to varnishing an oil painting. The only thing that uh, differentiates uh, them both is the kind of varnish you'll be using because there are some specifically for acrylic and others specifically for oil. Uh, so before going to buy uh, your varnish, you need to have a couple of things in mind. So you need to know what you want the end result to look like. Do you want, once your varnish is dry, do you want it to look more glossy, uh, transparent? Uh, do you want the varnish to be permanent? All these little things you need to know ahead of time to know exactly what kind of varnish you need. Um, so I got my varnish at Michael's. This is what it looks like. So this is the small uh, version of this kind of varnish and I got this for 25 Canadian dollars. Um, it's called the Liquitex Professional Gloss Varnish. Um, and also uh, here in the back is where you'll be finding um, the details about this varnish. So these four rectangles right here are gonna tell you, for example, the, the level of glossiness or transparency or things like that. So uh, yeah, that's quite it. Um, I hope you guys are gonna enjoy this video and let's get to it. Take a large clean paintbrush and lightly brush over your painting to get rid of any dust, debris, or if you have any pets, any pet hair. Next, pour a little varnish in a container that will only be used for varnish because the varnish will stick to the container. With a different large clean paintbrush, dip the tip of your paintbrush in the varnish and then start applying it to your canvas. Make sure you're making even strokes and applying the same amount of pressure everywhere so that in the end you have an even layer of varnish. Varnishing allows the colors in your painting to really pop, but don't worry, it doesn't change them. They just stand out much more. Also, your painting will last much longer, the colors won't fade away over time. It also protects your work from any scratches or accumulation of dust. Once you've done one layer of varnish, look if your coat is even, and if it isn't, just add more varnish, but add some with very light strokes, so you don't end up scratching off the layer of varnish underneath. Once you're all done, you will need to wash your paintbrush. You wash it the same way you would wash any other paintbrush, but if you don't know how, then I'll show you. So go to a sink that either you don't put food in, or if you have a sink that you don't really use, then use it to wash your paintbrush. So basically, if uh, you have an older, unuseful sink, just use that because the paint or the varnish will uh, stick to it and will color it. As you can see in my sink, it's pretty colorful. So make hot water run and run your paintbrush through it. Then take either liquid hand soap or dish soap and pour a little bit in your hand. Then make circular motions with your paintbrush in your hand and after a few seconds of doing so, run your paintbrush through water again. And if you feel like your paintbrush is not completely clean, then take more soap and clean it again. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And if there's anything else that you would like me to explain or demonstrate or things like that, please leave your ideas in the comment below. And also make sure to check out my previous videos and my social medias. Bye guys!